Hi, my name's Tom. Welcome to Skyline Fire Stopping HQ. Today we're going to be showing you a brief video on how to fire stop a single service penetration. So, as you can see here, you're going to have to use a little bit of imagination because this is our training wall that we just use for training purposes. So, let's imagine that this was a uh, double plaster boarded area. And we've got, as you see, we've got a service penetration come through. This is a uh, plastic water pipe in this case. And we've got a uh, large void. This is what we typically call the aperture. This is what we typically call, typically call the uh, substrate. And obviously this is the service or penetration. So why is this dangerous? This is dangerous because if there was a fire from one compartment to another, meaning one side or the other, then fire and smoke and toxic fumes can easily pass through this void. So how, how are we gonna solve this problem? So obviously, first of all, we need to block this aperture or hole. The issue being that this leaves the plastic pipe. So if there were, were a fire, this could easily melt away. So we need something around this pipe which is gonna close the gap once this pipe melts or burns away. We're gonna be using a system of three products. We're gonna be using this intumescent coated slab or um, ablative bat, as some people call it. We're gonna be using an intumescent pipe wrap. This is designed to go around the surface penetration. And also, we're gonna be using some intumescent mastic. Here's some of the tools we're gonna to need for today's install. Here's some of the tools we're gonna to need. Some filling knives, a pad saw, a Stanley knife or cutting knife, a mastic gun, a little bit of masking tape, and a measuring tape. Okay, the first thing we're gonna be installing is the intermissive wrap, which is gonna go around the pipe. Now, we're using another fire product. Uh, before you install this, you need to check the manufacturer's guidelines uh, to see how to install it. Rule of thumb, always follow the manufacturer's guidelines. You might also want to check if you need any PPE to handle the, these materials. One other little tip to do is to always check, if you're using a plastic pipe like this, there'll be text, the manufacturer will put text on here. Check that this is compatible with the fire stopping solution that you are fitting. So now I've cut my wrap to size, remove that, and I'm gonna wrap it around the pipe like so and I'm gonna wrap it back on itself. The next thing we're gonna do is uh, put some masking tape around the aperture so that we don't make a, a real mess. Uh, one of the tricks of the trade that I learned from Simon actually is to, before you apply your masking tape, just take some of the excess stick off like that. It stops the paper tearing away. Now I'm just going to measure up for my ablative bat because I don't want too much waste. Okay, so here's my piece. You can see I've cut it in half and then I've cut a little slot out to go around the pipe. Now I need to, what we call, butter up the edges before I fit it into the wall. Now I'm just going to push all that mastic into depth, working from the inside out. Right, so as you can see we've smoothed everything off now and there's no gaps or holes or even little spots left in there. It's all fully sealed. Now let's get rid of this tape. Next step is one of the most important, is to tag the item. We're going to go more over this in our next video. One of the most important things about fire stopping is to always know exactly what you're doing. 
uh, whether that's following manufacturer's guidelines or following a spec that you've been given. Uh, a lot of the time you'll see people that have had a go and they might not necessarily be following manufacturer's guidelines. That is the one thing that you always must do because these scenarios are tested by the manufacturer. Thanks for watching guys. I know that was pretty brief. We're going to make more videos like this where we go into more details in the future. But if you need any help, advice with fire stopping, please feel free to visit our website, link below, or give us a call.